North Korea prepares to send new missiles with great destructive power to Russia. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un oversaw tests of multiple rocket launcher systems that can deliver nuclear weapons in a drill this week that South Korea said could be a way for Pyongyang to market its newest missiles to Russia. Bloomberg reported this. According to verified information, recently North Korea launched three ballistic missiles the Kyodo news agency reported, citing the Defense Ministry of Japan. The missiles covered the distance of 350 kilometers at the altitude of up to 50 kilometers. They splashed down not far from the eastern coast of the Korean peninsula, the ministry said. North Korea tested super large multiple rocket launchers in drills aimed at proving the might and the real war capabilities of the weapon system, the state's official Korean Central News Agency reported. The drill was aimed at proving the might and the real war capabilities of the weapon system through the sudden maneuvers and salvos of the sub-units of 600mm multiple rocket launchers, raising the combat morale of artillerymen, multiple rocket launchers, and checking and enhancing the readiness posture, Korean Central News Agency said. It also released pictures of Kim at the event watching six missiles take to the sky and celebrating later with a cigarette in his hand. During the drill, massive shells of super large multiple rocket launchers hit the targets. According to the news agency, Kim expressed great satisfaction over the fact that the artillerymen displayed high mobility and accurate and strong striking power in carrying out their sudden combat mission. There is a good chance that they are a final performance test before exporting to Russia. South Korea's defense minister Shin Won-sik told reporters the US, South Korea and others have accused North Korea of sending to Russia its newest nuclear-capable ballistic missiles that are easy to hide, quick to deploy and hard to shoot down. U.S. will never recognize legitimacy or results of fake Russian elections in sovereign Ukraine. The United States condemns Russia's ongoing efforts to undermine Ukraine's sovereignty, territorial integrity and political independence through sham elections held in the occupied Ukrainian territories, according to Freedom Media Outlet. The United States does not and will never recognize the legitimacy or results of these sham elections held in sovereign Ukraine as part of the Russian presidential elections. This was stated by U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller at a briefing. Of course, Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhia, Kherson and Crimea are Ukraine. The results of these Potemkin-style exercises will be dictated by Moscow and cannot reflect the free will of the citizens of Ukraine who are forced to vote in them, the U.S. State Department spokesman said. According to him, this spectacle only further demonstrates Russia's blatant disregard for its obligations under international law. In turn, the United States will continue to use all available tools to hold accountable those responsible for actions that undermine the sovereignty, territorial integrity or political independence of free countries, including those who are observers at the Kremlin's sham elections in the occupied parts of Ukraine. The day before, the heads of the foreign affairs committees of 20 countries issued a joint statement rejecting the legitimacy of the Russian presidential elections held in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. This was announced by the chairman of the Lithuanian Parliamentary Committee on Foreign Affairs, Zygimantas Pavilionis, on social media platform X. The joint statement was signed by the heads of committees from 20 countries, Ukraine, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Luxembourg, Czech Republic, Germany, Moldova, Poland, Israel, the United States, Ireland, Italy, Iceland, Romania, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Spain and the United Kingdom. The parliamentarians stressed that Russia had organized elections that coincided with the 10th anniversary of the illegal annexation of Crimea, which is a clear provocation.